Mom hey everybody, welcome drugs. back. We're playing the, the Binding of Isaac. We got a weird situation here, okay? I got a run that was 15 minutes in. You know we've been dealing with a little illness at home. Obviously the baby is not in daycare as a result of that. Kate got a little sick and was like, I really can't watch the baby right now. I need to like go to sleep, take some medicine. So I said, okay, no problem. I stalled the run that we were doing on stream. I don't, normally, in the average situation, okay, without a doubt, I would quit the run, eat the streak loss, and then start over again. In this unique situation, and I, I do think it's, it's quite unique, um, I'm gonna try to actually get a win as the lost on the run that I was already doing. Uh, and it, it might work, it might not work. And we'll probably try to squeeze in like one more run afterwards, regardless of how it goes. But like, I don't want it, it, that streak is, uh, well, I guess we'll, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the D6, uh, even if it is of the, whatever the tainted variety right now, but a blank card plus something sweet from our shop, like a, a, a card that's not the hero font, for example, could hit the spot right now. So, um, but the, the streak has been a, a motivating and like solidifying factor for me. I've been playing better because we're on a little bit of a streak. Obviously we could just say like, hey, the run is like doing all right. Like we, we could just quit it and then be like, Hey, just add 10 to whatever streak we're at right now, and that's what our real number's at. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all, but I also, you know, I'm, I'm trying to take it to the next level, man. Let's let's keep it rolling, and let's actually try to keep the, the, the number where it belongs. In terms of, like, getting you up to speed, okay? We're on the Depths 1. We're the Lost. The most important item that I got on the run was Red Stew. And the damage upgrade from Red Stew is, like, now gone. We also have, uh, I think it's Purgatory, right? Where you step on the crack and then a ghost comes out. Flies? Oh, just a bunch of Spirit Hearts. Okay. <laughs> oh, and then Blank Card. That's right. It changes based on the, uh, on the usefulness of the card that you use it with. I mean, I think the dream is, uh, Alges, right? Like, that's the... I can't believe that kind of worked. I can't believe how well that worked. Um, like, an Algiers rune seems like it would probably be for the best. We're, we're not going to make boss rush in all likelihood, but a teleport card is also a, a way to get a second crack at life. We do also have perfection, which is something you, you pretty much always have after a certain point in the game as the lost, but ooh, ooh, I don't want to be here. Okay, calm down. Just gonna take yourself a little breath. At some point, those enemies are gonna die. We got the space to do something like this. Hemolacria, of course, also a, an element on this run, uh, for for better and for worse. And it really is something that kind of it runs the gamut. But all right, you can see if you're doing uh, inventory right now, we have gotten some uh, tears ups, which is really important if you're gonna be using Hemolacria. Our damage is also pretty good, and I, I don't remember why. Hemolacria carries a damage up that's kind of misleading, because it is good, but it doesn't affect your DPS, like, as much as if our damage was, like, normally to go from 4 to 9, which I think is what happened there. Um, but still, it's not, you know, I'm certainly not turning up my nose at it. So I think this run is like, it, it's in, it, I'm not re, I'm not doing the rest of the run, I guess I should say. Um, because it's like so incredible that like I want to tough it out. <laughs> or not tough it out, I guess the opposite. I want to, you know, like ride it out. No, this is like the, not the opposite necessarily. But this run is, is merely like good enough. But I, I want it, man. I want it. What's the card? Justice. Now that's an interesting situation. Spawns two to four golden chests and poison tears. I don't think we should shy away from, from using Justice Blank card as often as possible. Sometimes, you know, just due to variance, we'll probably get screwed. We'll hope to get uh, enough of a return on our investment to open more chests in the future, but maybe it won't work. Yo! Birthright lost? 
prevents items not beneficial to the lost from spawning. It's one of those things, like, I hate to be a hater, but, like, I'll believe it when I see it. Because <laughs> you look at these items, there's, you know, placenta, bone marrow, you know, Celtic cross. There's a lot of stuff we picked up that isn't really useful for the loss. But, hey, I'll spend 15 cents to hopefully prune that item pool a little bit. And I'm assuming that we're actually going to get to use the... Uh, the blank card a little bit more often once we get over this Hierophant usage that we did because I'm assuming that Hierophant will be like pretty high in the power rankings for what should have a high cooldown and, and the Justice card should not be so much. So anyway, the, the, the preamble is pretty much over here. I just wanted to apologize because it's, it's kind of weird for a run to start in media res, but I, I hope you at least understand my reasoning here. And, you know, assuming this run finishes in a reasonable time frame, we'll, like, follow it up with a, uh, with, like, an Azazel run or something like that to, to take us to our normal run time. We'll see. Anyway, there's no guarantee we're going to win this. Like, you know, the Lost is, even with all the good stuff we got, it's not necessarily easy. Mm, not really that interested. Two. Okay, okay. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. It is going to be 12 more rooms. It does, I'll, I'll admit. I think you got to think long term with this one. If, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> if we manage to take it to, like, the chest, that seems like that could be pretty amazing for us, right? Because it's going to give us a, a guaranteed, like, two to four items on the chest. As, assuming we have the keys necessary to open it, which is always a bit of a conundrum, but it, it, it happens. But I, I think every 12 rooms getting two... minimum two golden chests, it's enough to hold on to. Like, I'm not gonna just eat the card for, like, minimal gain here. Um, but certainly we're looking for some other stuff. An Emperor card could go a long way. A Fool card? Admittedly, like, Blank Card Fool actually has a, a place for the Lost, because if we got hit, we could just teleport out. Actually seems kind of useful. What the heck is that? It's the Placenta, not Placenta, Placebo Rune? Clear Rune. Copies the effect of Held Rune or Soul Stone. Also drops a Rune. Blank Rune. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, so blank card doesn't work with runes anymore then, but a blank rune working with blank rune. Okay, well, I guess we'll be saying goodbye to blank card. That's fine. I guess in that case we'll use justice. I mean, truth be told, I'm not that disappointed by this. Like, this, this seems interesting, and we can use it once every three rooms? Like, that's kind of cracked. I would like you to pay out. I don't even want the item, but let's see what's behind it. A tears upgrade. Okay. We're kind of screwing over our ability to use the last shop. I really don't want to D100 this run, man. Like, we, we have a, a very good position right now. We can blank rune the item, try to, you know, uh, black rune would be great. Uh, keep in mind, we did also get the ghost pepper for getting rid of the, the blank card, which is kind of insane. Considering we've got perfection as well. So, like, I'm not, I'm not being a hater in the slightest, but it's a bit of a... It, it's a, certainly a run... I'm, I'm glad we didn't get rid of it, because there's, like, a lot of... There's a lot of fun to be had here. It's a ghost. Ooh, it's freaking Capricorn. My god. Okay, it's all coming together. Now the conspiracy theories can start. Oh, of course he'd want to continue this run. He must have known. He must have put the seed into his proprietary seed uh, prognosticator. And so, I don't know if anybody's actually like that now that, I, now that I've gone too deep down the rabbit hole already. But if you are, I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> Quite frankly. I'm pretty much pushed to the margins again. And slowly coming to terms with the fact that that's likely to be the case for mm, the rest of my life, possibly, and that's okay. You know, it's like, uh, what does Garth say in Wayne's World about a, it's like a new pair of underpants. At first it's 
so constricting that it's awkward, but eventually it just becomes a part of you. Something like that. Probably about a, a 2 out of 10 Garth uh, impression. I can't wait. What's Garth's last name, man? All I can think of is Garth Marenghi, and that is definitely not it. Although they do both live in a dark place. Garth Marenghi, of course, lives in Garth Marenghi's dark place. And I think that Garth lives in Canada. Hey, 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 hey. Don't even know what it is. Um, I can say it. I'm Canadian. I can say it. It's actually not uh, not even that dark up here. Like it's, I mean, right now it's 12.39 p.m. So it's like 0% dark. It's basically peak sunlight. But, you know, I don't live in the Yukon where, you know, in the wintertime the sun comes out at like 10.75 a.m. And it goes down at like 10.83 I have been to Iceland twice, um, both times in the winter, once in November, once in January, not of, not of the previous year, but just in general, help me, um, maybe, uh, Ansus? Uh, that's a Yera, I'll recognize that one anywhere. One thing I will always carry with me from Isaac is that I don't think if you gave me the astrology, uh, sign, I could not draw the symbol, but if you gave me the symbol, I could tell you the sign. At least for the ones that are actually good. Like that one, for example, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, but that's these are runes, not uh, signs. What are you talking about? That's uh, the, the, No one's ever like, oh yeah, I'm a Jera. I'm an Algis. I, mean, I got it all confused, man. But like, I could not draw Sagittarius even in my head right now like I can't picture what the Sagittarius symbol looks like I think it's just an arrow but I, I can't fully picture it but if you showed me the symbol because of Isaac 100% odds I'd be like that's Sagittarius thank you for saying the name one every you know eight times no big deal okay not too worried about it I wouldn't mind getting another rune. Like, blank rune's great, but really, like, an Algis just wins us the game. If we're not going to win the game already, which, honestly, it looks like we, we probably will. So, yeah, even, like, you know, long into the future. We don't, we don't need Algis here. We can fly. Even long into the future, I'm sure I'll, I'll carry a little Isaac with me. Oh, I think we sucked it up for a 0.07 tiers upgrade <laughs> and the one luck. But hey, luck with um, with uh, Ghost Pepper. Kind of sick, right? I'll, I'll always remember which zodiac signs the symbols represent. I'm not a horoscope guy in the slightest, but I, I you know, I also... I mean, I, this is the philosophy. If you apply it to everything in life um it it can fall apart right like anything you always take it to the extreme people are like you know oh murder is bad and you're like oh really so you're saying if a portal opened up in front of you and adolf hitler walked out and you know if you shot him you could prevent world war five you wouldn't do it because murder is bad you're always like dude why People spend so much time, like, worrying about these hypotheticals instead of, like, what they should eat for lunch, like a normal person. No, sorry, I didn't have time to eat lunch today. Sorry, I didn't have time. I was pondering the orb, you know? What are you talking about? I don't fully know, self. I don't fully know, okay? Um, but I think that in general, you know, a lot of people, like, believe in things or, 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 or at least are entertained by things that I personally, you know... I'm not involved in astrology, um, you know, essential oils. You know, you get the idea. Vegetables. <laughs> I'm a I'm a big vegetable supporter. That that one I just threw in there for comedic effect. But my basic philosophy is not always just stuff like astrology, you know, or or even religion. If you wanted to take it to like a a, a much more controversial level. But if someone's like, hey, you know, I've been doing this new diet lately where, like, I only drink Minute Maid orange juice and, like, look at how much weight I lost. My philosophy is twofold. One is, if that's working for you, great. 
until it inconveniences me in my own life, I say live and let live, man. And the other part of that, it's almost a corollary, which is, it's your funeral. <laughs> you know, it, I think astrology is an example more of the former. I, I always t tell this story, but there was like a year ago or so. I mean, actually, I think it was this summer. I was walking in Vancouver and I saw a guy walking, uh, you know, towards me. And he had a shirt on that said, astrology is BS. Only it's spelled out like all the words involved in both the B and the S, right? And I remember, you know, like it's a situation where I agree with you if that's what you're like. Are, do I actually believe that? The movement of the stars help. Oh my god. You gotta try for analogies. Saved. You know, do I actually believe that the movement of the stars or the planets dictates whether or not, you know, you're gonna get that promotion at your new job? No, I don't. That being said, I feel like I would much rat like I didn't, uh, any askers in chat, you know, did anybody ask? I would much rather hang out with somebody, I, at least I think, dude, it's gonna destroy our rate of fire. <laughs> but on the other hand, hold on, maybe this is a great blank rune opportunity, because like quad shot is good, but our rate of fire has already been so inhibited by the existence of uh, hemolacria. But anyway, to, to finish my train of thought, sorry, it's kind of hard to dodge these. You got to do it at runtime. It's just, it's not as easy as it once was, um, if it was ever, I guess. But um, I would much rather see. I know that's Leo. Can't fool me, even with the item description mod on. I would much rather like have lunch with somebody who's like a nice person, but is into astrology to an extent that you know I'm not, than have lunch with somebody who like specifically bought. A graphic t-shirt designed to like make people feel bad or like think that that's Alge's right there or or think that like he's intellectually superior because he like doesn't believe in this thing like I, it might be different like if I had a personal vendetta like if I had an ex-girlfriend who was like really into astrology or something like that and you know she, I would be like hey do you want to go to Chipotle and she's like let me consult the star charts like then I'm I might you know, buy that in like a medium because I've been working out lately um, and, and then use that as motivation to like keep getting on the bike. But um, apart from that, you know, I'm just I'm not really judging the guy necessarily. I'm just saying like when you have a shirt that takes a position like that, you're telling me a lot more about you than you might realize to begin with. So I'm like, uh, you know, obviously there are situations where like, it, like I, I would even take it to the extent because people are very anti MLM, like multi-level marketing. And for great reason, um, a lot of them, I'm not going to say all, but like it might be all, <laughs> have some degree of scam in their nature, right? Like any of these... Uh, marketing services where you sell essential oils or leggings or candles or you get the idea where more of your revenue is designed to come from signing people up to become sellers than from actually selling the products themselves that's a huge warning sign that being said if someone in my family was like oh lately i've really gotten into you know insert mlm here i would be like polite i would be like oh that's cool Congrats. It would only be, it, I would expect that the other shoe would drop at some point and they would be like, so what, how many like candles can I sign you up for? And I'd be like, I'm not interested. Then if they got pushy, that's where you got to be like, okay, look, we're not ready to stop the run yet, but I'm, I'm very thankful that we kept it going here and we get to take our, uh, our double digit streak into the future. I'm now I'm very glad we didn't just leave it. Um, we, we earned this streak, man. I mean, you didn't see the part of that lost run that was uh, a little bit more dubious, where I was picking up a bunch of items that literally had no benefit for the lost. You only saw it once we got that, that ghost pepper and it started to take off. My main goal is to blow up and act like I ain't know nobody. Yum, 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 yum. But I'm being serious, because I see it, like, all the time online, you know? Like, some, some people, like, can't 
I, mean, I think it's a learned skill, to be fair. But some people can't sleep if they know that there is a stranger out there who they think is wrong. So you'll see, you'll see it on Twitter especially all the time. I'm sure on other platforms, and YouTube, I mean, don't even get me started. Like, just me talking about things that are even, not even controversial. Like, I wouldn't do myself the gratitude of saying that this is a controversial subject. But people will just, you know, they, they're infatuated with stuff in their own head. And then they'll go like, I can't believe that you would suggest this, and that means this, and I'm drawing 25 conclusions based on literally zero data points. You know, people, like, they make up their own headcanon to position themselves with the identity that they desire. Myself included, by the way. Ooh, baby! I think that's pretty sick. Look at that. Demon hearts, please. Oh, that's good enough. Oh, I, excuse me, I asked for demon hearts. I was eating those beans. But, uh, I, you see it on Twitter all the time. Someone will, you know, make a post like, Hey, I started, like, intermittent fasting, and, uh, like, I've lost 30 pounds in six months or something like that. And then people, they just can't help themselves. They reply and go, like, uh, just so you know, the scientific literature is out on intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is actually, uh, it's possible that it's bad for you. Our bodies in the, we're, we're evolutionarily incentivized to eat as often as possible. Um, that's why the new fat is grazing and you've got to blah, blah, you know, you get the idea. And you could, it's not just intermittent fasting. You can apply it to literally any diet, essentially. Um, it, it'll just be different people that will respond to you. And you're like, you're not necessarily wrong, but I think it's the kind of thing that's seductive because if anybody's like, hey, uh, be quiet, you know, they're happy with themselves right now, it's working for them. And, you know, if it starts not working for them, they can puzzle that out themselves. Then you just get the, you get the ultimate backseater uh, plausible deniability, right? Oh, sorry for caring. I bet if I hooked you up to a dang polygraph test when you were saying stuff like that, and I was like, are you saying this because you care? Or are you saying this because you want to get some dopamine for, uh, you know, shutting someone down? I think I know what I would expect to see in the results. Maybe that makes me cynical, but it doesn't necessarily make me wrong. It might, but it might not as well as the other thing. We can't say that without any data, you know, like they say on Sesame Street. It's, I wonder, what if, let's try. There we go, I got it. The tower. Scram, 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 scram. Fantastic. <laughs> people can't help themselves, man. Like, you know, a lot of people on Twitter, you see it occasionally. You know, you'll, you'll find yourself on Twitter trending, and it'll be like, you know... Wiccans trying to summon Blood Moon. And, you know, you see the replies? There's a lot of people like, lull, lull, I don't believe in this stuff, lull. And I'm like, yeah, me neither. But, like, you know, whatever. Life's long, man. You gotta <laughs> find something to occupy your time. <laughs> if that's trying to summon a Blood Moon or whatever to give Ted Cruz a diarrhea, then, you know, don't let me stop you. It's only when you start to use it to try to curse me with diarrhea, then we'll, I'll, you know, go Ben Shapiro on you or something like that. Suppose hypothetically this did work, then I could charge you with assault for giving me diarrhea through the stars. You know, I don't think you want to invite that evil into your life. I don't want to have to put on the voice. Don't do the voice. Okay, you know what? We got Holy Card. In many ways, Holy Card is a lot like the Fool Card, in that we lose it escaping a curse room. Okay. Still is a great run, don't get me wrong. The chocolate milk pickup's incredible. And I, it's kind of like, we already won the part of this run that was going to be like, oat tension. You know what I mean? Like, this one is uh, it's pretty much in the bag as soon as we won that run with the Lost. It's a weird kind of like, you know, reversal of tension. Normally the run gets more tense as it goes on, but, you know, it's, trust me, it's been a little topsy-turvy over here. <laughs> To, to put it mildly, baby getting sick, me getting sick, ooh, becomes much wider. Whoa. Um, I got, I, like I've, I've said it before, but let's belabor the point anyway, because again, we got to find something to occupy our time, right? Um, holy crap. That'll work. Um, Monday, I was so sick, briefly, Monday night, that 
I thought I was legitimately gonna have to go to the hospital. I don't even know what they would do. And it, it sucks, like, again, I, I've had, like, a bunch of COVID tests in the past week. I guess, like, we're probably, I, I don't know, four or five days on from my last one now, which means, you know, it, it's not like the test gives you any kind of preventative measure, but, like, it, my, my confidence that I don't have COVID if I start to get sick again would, I guess, be misplaced. However, you, you uh, now that I, like, at the time, at least on Monday, was like, well, I've just had three negative COVID tests in three days. Um, I thought about going to the hospital, and I was like, man, if I go to the hospital, I'm definitely gonna get COVID. <laughs> it's, I think it's the, you know, there's other problems going on right now, don't get me wrong, but I, I feel like that's one of the rubs of the healthcare system in the middle of this uh, pandemic, right? Is anytime you have something that, you know, might require medical attention, you, you have to go through your head, and you're like, well, this is bad, but is it worth also risking getting COVID to find out how bad it is and possibly get treatment? And the answer has got to be yes for a lot of things. Like when we were at the walk-in clinic, saw people that clearly had like screwed up their ankles. <laughs> like we're, I'm not laughing at, I'm just, you know, there was like a room full of people with the sniffles and then like some people whose legs had been like you know, bashed or something like that. And you're like, what are you going to do? Just wait at home? I don't think so. Um, so that, that's a situation you really don't have much of a choice. Something very serious, you don't have much of a choice. When I just thought I had, like, kind of a nasty flu, I was like, I'll just ride this one out for a day and see how I feel. I'm not endorsing that as a, uh, as a method of medicine, but uh, it is what I did. So, I, luckily, you know, by Tuesday I was better. By Wednesday, you know, I, I, I even rode the Peloton a little bit while I was sick, just very, very lightly. By Wednesday, I was setting PRs again and, uh, you know, feeling good. Today's Thursday. I'm like 100% occasionally get like a mucus voice, but, but like, I don't know, once a day instead of like once every 20 minutes. Um, but then, like, right as I was coming up, my wife was coming down with it and... You know, she's she's been uh, struggling with it for a couple days now. Obviously, we can't put the baby in the daycare because the baby is sick. Although our daycare provider told us that, like, basically nobody is even at daycare right now because all the kids are sick. And I'm like, well, you know, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> well, I will say, and I'm not trying to besmirch the, the parents, but there is one kid right now that, that we were told is still at daycare. And I was like, you should not have let that information slip. Because if every kid is sick except for one kid, that, that gets my conspiracy theory going that last week, their parents were like, you know, they're feeling a little under the weather, but send them anyway. And that's how we found ourselves in this predicament. But I don't know that for certain. And I would say, first off, that's not a nice thing to do. But the other thing I will say is I actually totally understand it. <laughs> you know, it's, we don't live in a perfect world. Maybe you, maybe you thought it was on the borderline and you're like, well, I really got to get some work done. Send her to daycare. Ended up being a decision that, you know, did not serve us very well in particular. But, and again, I don't know that this happened. This is just my constant victim complex. Thinking that the entire world is out to get me in spite of, you know, a lot of evidence to the opposite, really. What a run so far, man. So, yeah, it's been... Uh, it's been, I mean, not like bad, really, but just like, you know, people are tired, myself included. I'm becoming a total boomer psycho. I committed like a, a huge faux pas. I have been waking up earlier. I set my alarm for like 7.15. Usually I'm up a little bit before my alarm. Since, since I started working out again, it's getting even crazier, right? Like once you get in the habit of it, you're more tired when you go to bed. You tend to get better sleep or fall asleep faster at least. Which for me means, you know, instead of spending a half hour like listening to historical audiobooks, I basically just fall asleep pretty much right away, um, which saves me half an hour. It gives or it gives me an extra half hour of sleep. Uh, so I've been waking up like 45 minutes or so before my alarm at like 6:30 in the morning, and just like when it happens, I'm like, awesome! I'm up early. Um, but I committed a terrible faux pas. I left my alarm on for 7.15, left my phone in the kitchen, 
clipped in. It's the the bike is one of those ones where the shoes actually like make a like a ski boot almost. They make like a hard connection with the pedals. Um, so it's very you, you can't get in and out in like a moment's notice. You need like ten seconds to clip in and clip out. Um, and then I was, you know, I got like a little bit in the, a ride this morning, and then I heard like, you know, boop, 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 and I was like, what is, oh, well, this song's like, they're, they're remix, I don't know any of the songs they play on Peloton, just for the record, but I was like, man, they're remixing like the uh, default Samsung Galaxy Wake Up song into this, that's weird, and then after like literally two minutes, I was like, oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I left my phone in the other room. It's playing its alarm. My wife is still asleep and is also under the weather. Um, so I, I urgently clipped out without, you know, falling off the bike and literally, like, snapping off my legs or the ankles. And uh, it ended up... You know what? We can total... Oh, no, we can get, grab the full card first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Because that is uh, it's basically magic skin. So we might as well. I think I got lucky, I don't, if she woke up, I don't think she woke up, but if she woke up, it was one of those wake ups where like, as long as you wake up and go back to sleep within like 30 seconds, I feel like you have, your body protects you, right? Like it gives you no memory of uh, what woke you up in the first place. I guess I'll take this sword. Like I've had it happen before, like, Sometimes I'll like wake up in the morning, go about my whole day, Kate and I'll be eating dinner and she'll be like, hey, remember last night when I like, you know, flushed the toilet and you woke up and we talked for like 15 seconds and I'm like legitimately, until you mentioned this, I did not remember. I do, re now I recall that that did happen. I can, I can vaguely sort of piece those events together. But before you mentioned it, I had no recollection whatsoever that it had come to pass. So I think I, I honestly got, like, really lucky. Because I don't want to be that, like, you know, the... You remember that Twitter weirdo who was, like, um, settle a debate for me and my wife? I love the feeling of waking up and going back to sleep, so I set six alarms throughout the night. She thinks that it's very disruptive and, and she has chronic insomnia. Who's in the wrong? And you're like, you're in the wrong, obviously. Like, what kind of, I And what most people, the vast majority of people, when they saw this story, went, you're insane. Please stop, like, hitting your wife with legitimate, like, Guantanamo Bay torture techniques. There were a couple people, though, that were like, I like to do the same. And I'm like, look, I'm not suggesting you can't... I mean, the, I love the feeling of being able to go back to sleep when I wake up in the middle of the night because of the fact that, you know, I sometimes you wake up and you're like, oh, I feel like crap. I hope it's not 7. And then you look at your alarm clock and it's like 1.30. And you're like, oh my god, I have five and a half more hours to, like, enjoy life. Or, well, sleep, really, but... <laughs> Take me down. I'm okay with this. Um... That's a great feeling, but I can't help but feel that there's like a, a bit of a destructive effect, you know, on your life. <laughs> if you wake up deliberately like five times in the night, like you, if you wake up once or twice because you got to go to the bathroom or something, whatever, but it's just, it's crazy to me, man. People like, they got to cultivate different ways of getting a personality. <laughs> oh my God, I just wasted a key. That's what you get for being judgmental. Yeah, well, I was going to say judge this, then I realized I'd lose my uh, lover's card. No, thank you. Um, and then, like, I always think back, you know, Reddit's been around a long time. You know, Today I Learned has been around a long time. Remember, one of the most common Today I Learns for, like, five, six years was Today I Learned that before alarm clocks existed, uh, farmers in America used to go to sleep and then wake up one to two times in the middle of the night to perform chores, uh, engage in lovemaking, or, like, eat a light meal. They considered this, like, the second sunset or something. Like, it, it had, it, it was gussied up, right, and, like, fancified. Not yassified, but fancified to make it seem like it was this, like, medically legitimate thing. Come to find out years later, 100% made up. <laughs> 
they did not do that stuff. They were at least not uh, intentionally. You know, who who can? Wait, what can you say uh, when it, when it just happens? Hold on, I got uh, just got a little knock on the door. That's okay. We're almost done with this run. No sweat. Um, I mean, have I ever woken up in the middle of the night so hungry that I've, like, you know, gone down and eaten a banana or something like that? Absolutely. But do I go, oh, second sunset, this is sick. Nah, man. I go, like, I really should have eaten this banana before I went to bed. This is going to screw up my whole, you know, circadian rhythm. Anyway. I just don't want to say, I know I've talked about this before too, but I, and I think everybody has like one friend like this that tried to emulate the Thomas Edison sleep cycle where like you take something like, you know, 10, 20 minute naps throughout the day or uh, like, I don't know, maybe you take a 20 minute nap once every two hours or something like that. I can't fully remember how a 45 minute nap every three hours. Um, it's called polyphasic sleep. Supposedly, that's how, like, Thomas Edison got so much work done. And also, I probably should have used that on an angel room, huh? Like, you know, that's how he, like, you know, overclocked his brain. Had a friend of mine in high school try to, you know, for a very short period. Day one, he was like, this is amazing. I'm not tired at all. Day two, he was like, oh, yeah, I slept for eight hours last night. Never try that. It sucks. I would never try to stifle your creativity, you know, and say, like, why ever try anything new? But there are some things that I, you know, I'm like, human beings, we kind of figured it out. I, and again, this is a source, dude, just trust me. I'm not like a, you know, an expert in human anatomy or, you know, cognitive ability or whatever. But I'm not, I'm not the guy you go to when you're like, what does my brain need? But I really feel like we're not going to come up with a magic bullet for sleep. I don't think there's ever going to be like, you know, hey, you know, if you just make sure that you fall asleep uh, exactly when the moon is at, you know, 35 degrees relative to the horizon, then, you know, th that's when our body sleeps. I think really like, you know, it, it should be somewhat self-regulating, right? When you're tired, you go to sleep and when you're... When you're done sleeping, you wake up. It's just that modern life, and by modern, I guess I mean, like, you know, probably from, like, the <laughs> Neolithic Revolution onwards, uh, has a, a tendency to get in the way of that natural rhythm uh, because you got to go to work at a set time and wake up at a set time, blah, blah, blah. Which is fine, you know, I would say, for the most part, the juice is worth the squeeze, and you can still make it work. Sulfur. Sulfur seems kind of cracked. Lusty blood seems kind of cracked. Am I willing to do this? I think I'm willing to do this. What the heck is this run, man? <laughs> it's a bit of a strange one, but I like it. Um, you know, food is kind of different because we're all. I'm not saying we're not always learning new things about sleep, and we're inventing stuff. You know, like better mattresses and you know, like better sleep habits, and you know, we got wearable devices that you can look at your your sleep health and stuff like that um but if you know in terms of like the actual like are you gonna come up with some kind of hack like if you whisper babadook right before you go to bed your sleep's gonna be 20 percent better i don't think so I, th I think that's the kind of stuff where you know you're, you're barking up the wrong tree food's a little different you know there's constant change not only in like you know people's uh uh, you know, the understanding of what's good for you and what's bad for you, but there's also a lot of change in, uh, uh okay, you're getting a little scary here. There's also a lot of change in, in people's preferences over time, right? No, but I don't think people go through phases of, like, sleep preference, really. I could be wrong, I'll admit. I don't think there's too many situations where they were like, oh yeah, in, like, the 60s, people preferred to sleep two hours four times a day. You know, I think they were kind of in a a position where everybody knows what they want. Don't give me a health down, you piece. I would have I would have lost my freaking mind. That's far away. I still, by the way, feel great about this run. Um, we probably should go back for a para throw. Where's my beam? <laughs> I just noticed. 
No wonder I started taking so much damage, man. I got no beams anymore. I just am shooting a sword instead. One of these dang swords, like, screwed up my whole game. You're just lucky there's two of you. I don't know which one did it. What the heck is Sulphur going to do then? Okay, this is where you just enjoy the opportunity. Maybe blow up some of those blue fires. Stay as far away as possible. You know, we're trying to preserve a streak here. Defin okay, thank you. I really appreciate that GB bug. I'm very thankful for that. Enemy was about a millisecond away from being dead. Very funny, very cool, very swag. I've heard tell, and I don't know how true this is, but I've heard tell, legend purports to the existence of a rock with a strange hue that when exploded provides you with a small amount of vitality. I don't know for certain. This could just be the stuff of legend. I have vague false memories of them existing and in many situations providing a marked difference to our ability to succeed on a run. But that was just a dream. Okay, we're on one HP and I'm gonna become the Joker. And it's my own fault. Never should have taken Lusty Blood. I see a Tinted Rock, and don't give me Small Rock here. I'm just... Okay, I got what I wished for. I didn't get Small Rock. Legend purports at one time, there used to be um, a much nicer drop table for said Tinted Rock. Which allowed you, reliably, to get a little bit of extra gas on your vitality. Unfortunately, um... Those times have long since passed. Don't, don't, don't even try it. Oh, peace. Please. I'm desperate, man. The world's worst superhero. Um, and yet the most common. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Send one of those in there. Great shot, great shot. Please be dead. Saved. Ooh. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm alive. <laughs> please, please, please. Okay, I'm begging you to have this run fall apart as a Zazel, man. I don't know how to hit you. I know I'm, I'm shooting the shots back, okay? I'll level with you. No, no matter what, I had fun on the run today. All I could ask for was preserving the value of that lost run that we started with. I'm, I'm actually not upset. It's my own fault, quite frankly. I got too deep in the zane. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. <laughs> that was a great deal. I'll see you next time. See you.